you go. Hello, everybody. This is Henry Fleischer here with the Cannabis Biz Dispatch, as well as the CBD Business Networking Group. And I got two very special guests today. I got Jay Bird as well as Zach Williams of Cross Country Wellness. So, two definitely. Uh, please tell us about yourselves and what you guys do. Zach, I'll let you go first, I guess. Awesome. Uh, my name is Zach Williams with Cross Country Wellness, as, as explained. Uh, I've got a background in marketing. Uh, I've known a Jaybird for probably almost a decade now. i uh, been best friends for, since about a decade, and um, we always knew that we were going to be business owners together. Um, uh, you know, we both share the same amount of drive and passion, um, and uh, I knew that Jay Bird was going to be successful in the cannabis industry many, many years ago. And he showed up to my house with nothing but a backpack and a one-way ticket to Las Vegas and said, hey, I'm moving out to Las Vegas to get people off opioids uh, and push them towards cannabis as medicine. And from that point on, we kind of knew that we were going to be in the cannabis uh, space together. We just didn't know what extent. Um, and then at the end of last year, uh, we started Cross Country Wellness together. It's a full spectrum CBD brand that we own. Uh, all of our formulations are our own. Uh, it's a phenomenal product. And uh, we're really, really excited to bring this company and this business model to the world uh, as an extent of trying to bring awareness to uh, plant-based medicine. Uh, luckily for us, we've established ourselves as business owners where we, it, it sounds bad to say that we don't run this as a business, but we actually don't rely on this income to, uh, you know, feed ourselves or our families, which gives us the opportunity to offer our product at an introductory rate for a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Um, we've got all of our COAs. We're very transparent in our processes and uh, we're really excited about what we do. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, I'm definitely not the brains of this operation. That's definitely Jay Bird. You hear him start to speak and you know that he is definitely a, uh, he's definitely made a name for himself in this space. Uh, and I'm not going to take any of his accolades from him. I'm going to let him introduce that. But once he starts speaking, you'll definitely see why I chose to, uh, to team up with him. So I'm honored to be here. Awesome. So yeah, Jay Bird. So get into it. Yeah. What's, what's up, guys? My name is Jay Bird, born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I am the other half of Cross Country Wellness. I moved to Las Vegas about four years ago. After the passing of my father, he passed away from a accidental overdose of pain pills back in 2015. And that was kind of the inspiration to finding my passion and helping people. Um, since then, I've uh, been working in the cannabis space since 2017, uh, won Cannabis Activist of the Year Las Vegas 2020 last year. Um, I am a head of sales for a company called Canaline, and I also do sales for a company called Kushco. So under my belt, I basically sell every cannabis product here in Las Vegas, um, nominated for Bud Tender of the Year 2021. And also just uh, got nominated for Cannabis Activist of the Year 2021 again. So trying to go back to back. More than anything, I'm just trying to spread. Oh, and then, God, how can I forget? I'm also sponsored by We'd Be Better Off, which is this lovely hat that I'm wearing right here. It's a clothing and uh, lifestyle brand. So uh, just got a lot going on, just more trying to spread the education, raise the awareness and lower the stigma of, you know, uh, what we have in with cannabis right now. So um, other than that, man, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I'm just I'm just trying to teach uh, as many people as I can about the benefits of CBD and, you know, how much it, it works. We have one person right now that we're sponsoring on the Appalachian Trail. He's hiking the Appalachian Trail only using um, our CBD products. We just had a ultra runner run 100 miles in one day that we sponsored. Um, you know, we have a couple uh, weightlifters, like professional bodybuilders that are in the works of us uh, sponsoring. And last night, I think I snagged a professional bicyclist, or I don't even know what the hell you call those people, but a cyclist, uh, 
Oh yeah. And yeah. They're like they, 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 they cycle up these crazy hills over here, man. But, um, so it, it, it's just more of the awareness of, of what the product people, people put getting or having CBD or cannabis of getting high opposed to fixing your problems. And, you know, I've really found a, a, a really good product of help, you know, over, you know, thousands and thousands of people so far in my life with the product. So I, I figured that it was my time to get the, the best product I could find at an affordable price and, you know, give it back to the people. And I, I've been able to do so. And, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm thankful to be here and, you know, thank you for having this call and interview with us, man. It's, it means the world to me, honestly. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. So how did you two meet initially? Funny. <clears throat> I'll tell my side of the story. Funny thing is back in Memphis, Zach was, uh, a little head honcho party goer out there and was running all these events and him and my cousin were actually really good friends at the time and I bumped into Zach and I was like you're I was like you're best friends with my cousin and he's like no so I FaceTimed my cousin right there on the spot and when I FaceTime him like he's like hey that's my cousin blah 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 and you know and we all went crazy in the club and we drank that night and had beers or whatever and like ever since then I was just I was at Zach's every single event that Zach put on I just kind of showed up and supported more than anything because I had fun I enjoyed the people I was around I enjoyed the energy that I was with and uh you know it just friends became family and you know you know one thing led to another and Zach, he's always supported me and always kind of smack me in the back of the head when I need it and tell me when I was messing up when I was messing up and, and supported me when I was up and you know he was there with me when I was down so um 10 years later we're we're going strong and you know that's my side of it <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh man it's uh it's, it's pretty much the same same story over here it's just uh in the club one night at one of my events hanging out partying and had some random dude bump up to me. I was like, Hey man. And he's like, you're like my cousin's best friend. And I was like, who are you? And he was like, he was like, I'm Jay bird. He was like, my cousin's Reinhardt. And I was like, what? I lost it again. He FaceTimed him and it's been, it's been a wrap ever since. I mean, uh, from day one, I've seen nothing but loyalty out of Jay bird. And it's been, uh, you know, it's been an honor to own a business with him and just watch him turn into, you know, a business owner and entrepreneur and really been out here doing what it takes to, to keep, you know, the business alive as well as, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're brand new, man. I mean, we're not even technically, we're not even six months old and we're already in five, you know, locations out in Vegas, you know? So it's a, uh, I think that's a testament in and of itself to the network that Jaybird has out there where he can make phone calls and, people people do it you know like there's no question I mean not to get too much into personal stuff but like I mean he called you know if I'm if I named off the dispenser you would already know who it was but he called up uh the head honcho at one of the dispensaries and this is for a separate matter but he's like kind of kind of half joking but he's like hey bro I need 25 grand and the dude's like all right where do I need to send it you know just like end of story but uh that's the type of relationships that Jaybird is produced out there and that's uh has a lot to do with uh why we've been able to grow this business the way we have oh yeah that's awesome too you said not even a year old yet so what was the toughest thing you guys faced when you were first starting uh, honestly everything man, uh, yeah <laughs> take, take over Jay. yeah honestly everything the starting up you know we we had so many hoops to jump through so you know, originally actually getting the product itself was one of the hardest things to get, you know, so um, the relationship, I think it took me three years to get the relationship to be able to have with this person to be able to, to white label our product, essentially, you know, so that, that, that was the getting our product. And then step two was actually getting um, our credit card processor. The credit card processor was ridiculously hard. Um, now that we got approved by American Express, MasterCard, Visa, and Discover, 
you know, um, they had to scrub our website and make sure that it didn't say we didn't claim anything. You know, we can't there's just certain things because it's not federally legal yet that you can't claim. So um, it took us over 60 days to get our credit card processor in place. Um, you know, this, the business bank account, just things that you don't realize that you're going to take into effect, um, starting the business. I mean, you know, you're getting your business license. And I think just those not being able to be patient, you know, you learn a lot of patience with being a business owner. It's nothing's going to happen right away. You're not going to get immediate results. You know, you have to put in the work, you know, you're only going to get back what you put in. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm realizing that too. You got to put yourself out there. Uh, you got to give out samples. You got to take losses. You got to take chances. You know, I was just telling that today. So you, you got to take chances and the risk that you don't take the rewards you won't gain. So um, that's just, that's what I truly believe in. So, you know, me and Zach took a chance on it and I was scared shitless because, you know, I had bar literally Zach is, you know, help, help fund this, you know, we have another, we have another partner that um, is my investor too, but he's a small owner, but me being able to borrow money from people essentially too, and then have the ball back in my court to pay that money back. That was another scary thing for me, honestly, you know what I mean? Like, what if I told you, Henry, that I had to hand you $15,000, but I needed it all back, you know, within a month. Like that's scary, kind of, you know. It's oh yeah. Yeah. So like, but what was cool was I, I was confident in my ability and my sales and the product itself. And you know, here we are. Like you said, we're we're not even we're we're barely four months old, and we've already had over a hundred orders online. And you know, we did over twelve thousand in sales last month, like total combined. So like, those are baby numbers right now, but it's it's great success, you know, and. Uh, we're just every single month we've been seeing more and more um, word of mouth. So we've been having orders in Washington and Florida and Virginia and Arkansas, Tennessee, um, just all over the place. So it's it's really it's really amazing to watch this grow. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I know it's because you guys are get off the beaten path a little bit, but overcoming the obstacles of, you know, starting the business, having the mindset to to, you know, be patient enough to know that it's coming and, uh, you know, just actually breaking through that wall. But yeah. Is there anything you would do differently too? I know like, cause you're a few months in, but like just looking back on those few months, like if you were to start from day one again, what would you do differently? Man, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a firm believer that this, this happened or how it's supposed to happen, you know, uh -huh. you know, like me like told I, I don't think I would change anything honestly like I got I got here because of how I got here you know like everything has led up to me owning this bit I've, I've failed once before trying to do this with another partner so it wasn't the right partner and not necessarily it wasn't the right partner it just wasn't the right time the first time and um I was selling another product that wasn't my own product. Um, but now I have a better team. I have a better support system. I have a, a better backbone, I'd say, you know, so like I, I wouldn't change anything to be completely honest with you, man. It's uh, it's been so rewarding to see this organically grow opposed to, you know, going into something with a whole bunch of money and just throwing money at it, being able to, you know, dump money into it to make it grow opposed to me going out there using my relationships to get these you know um new accounts and open these stores up and and watch it grow organically it's been much more rewarding and um yeah and i'm, I'm actually able to talk to the patients who buy my products so you know if they ever need anything, they can say that they talk to the owner, you know, and I hand out the samples, I'll hand out the business cards, I'll tell them and explain them how it's worked for me and show them how it could work for them. We can figure out a regimen for them. So it's like this organic growth has allowed me to have the customer service that I want to provide and present as my company. You know what I mean? I want, if I'm going to be the face and, and tell people about it, I want them to get, you know, quality um, answers from the best of my knowledge that I've seen 
over the years. Yep, I got you. What would you say is the toughest part about running a business in 2021? Man, being a knucklehead and not knowing business, period, you know, <laughs> not, you know, that I would say just not having that college degree would probably be the only thing I'm lacking. But guess what? I mean, the school of nar- hard knocks is we can we can learn that, you know, it's so like when it when things arise, you take care of it and you take notes and you, you, you go through it. You know, it's just nobody taught you how to be an adult. You know, you just kind of got there. So um it's it's part of growing up man i I would say just like the business expenses and the back end stuff but you know it's 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 a part of it you know zach zach is a a business owner and he he has 13 employees right i think it's 13 employees what i'm gonna let him answer because i'm i'm a small business (laughs) oh man i'm still small business too but yeah uh i own a couple of different businesses uh one of which being cross-country wellness um, my main one's a marketing firm. We've got 13 uh, employees there. I also own an emergency response uh, company. I also own a small portion of the world's first terpene-infused vodka uh, or liquor in general, um, as well as small portions of a few other businesses. But, uh, you know, business ownership, and especially in 2021, if there's anyone listening that's thinking about starting their own business or... Uh, even whether it's in, you know, the cannabis space or not, it's all about consistency and just sticking through it because I mean, honestly, I've got some friends that, you know, run hundred million dollar a year businesses and you would look at them and think that they've got it all figured out. And, you know, yeah, to an extent they do obviously, but if you actually have a personal conversation with them, something that's off social media or off of a, you know, a camera facing, you know, they'll, they'll be like, bro, I don't have all this figured out. And I sure didn't think I did way back then, you know? So, you know, uh, a lot of times it's easy to doubt yourself and, you know, constantly questioning if you're making the right move or this or that or whatever. And, you know, this is kind of corny to relate it to, but it, Hey, it's the way I can break it down for some people to understand this. I look at business ownership, my life in general, but especially business ownership is like the stock market. You know, if I pull up my stocks right now, it's going to look like a bloodbath today, but that's today. You start looking at one week, one month, three months, three years, five years, it's all up. It's all green, you know, and that's, that's what business ownership is like, you know, today might suck right now, or you might be making a hard decision right now, or you might be stuck in a rut and need to pull yourself out of it to be able to get your bearings back. But uh, if you look back on how far you've come, I mean, you can ask Jaybird. There's been a few times we've had conversations where we've been like, bro, what in the world is going on? Like, why is this taking so long? And why did this come back? And why did this get rejected? And why this? And why that? And why that? But then you look back at us and we're like, damn, bro. Like we're crushing it, you know, like, you know, we're not where we want to be, but we're definitely on the path to be there. And that's the thing is, you know, you can't look at someone else's success and judge where you are based off where they're at, because, you know, a lot of times you're only in the limelight once you start being quote unquote successful. No one else saw all the rest of the time. I've been a business owner and entrepreneur for over a decade. I've had lots of ups and downs, lots hard downs, hard downs, lonely downs. But if you look at where I'm at now, I mean, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world because at the end of the day, if it was a quote unquote failure or it wasn't successful, I'll just look at that as a learning lesson. You take the mistakes or this or that. I mean, you're going to make mistakes, bro. You're going to make mistakes. I'll make 10 mistakes today. But the the benefit is, is I'm going to make 20 successful decisions. So it's all about, you know, one step back and two steps forward. So, um, yeah, man, that's the hardest part, man, is just controlling your mind. Don't let yourself get down on it. And a big portion of that is who do you surround yourself with? You know, get rid of all the toxicity in your life. Stop dealing with, you know, people that aren't pulling you forward because if they're not pulling you forward, they're pulling you back. But, uh, yeah, brother, that's, uh, that's my piece on it. No, yeah, that's definitely a hard thing to do is to let go of some things in the past, too. So that's definitely good to know. Man, mm-hmm. I've got a tattoo from shoulder blade to shoulder blade on my back of one of my first businesses that's no longer around. And when the haters come out of the woodworks, they're like, oh, what about that tattoo now? 
And I'm like, bro, that's my favorite tattoo on my body because whether that company's around or not, it changed a lot of people's lives. It taught me a lot. And it's really a big portion of the motivation that I have today. So it's, it, you can either be glass half empty or you can be glass half full. It's up to you. Oh, cool. And if, if the customer was to see some other CBD businesses as well as cross country wellness, why should they give you guys a try first? Oh man, honestly, I mean, we're going to, uh, we're going to be the, one of the most affordable products on the market. We've did a lot of research with everybody, you know, um, a lot of people that use our products are on fixed incomes, you know, so, you know, they, they really, they really have to think about what they're spending, you know, um, pain cream, for example, uh, a lot of pain creams out there on the market are going to claim, they're going to make claims that they're a certain milligram. We're one of the most compliant states in the country here in Las Vegas. So we have COAs that prove what exactly our product is. You know, we, we have, you know, we've done result or we've tested the product out, excuse me, ourselves, um, knowing that it works. Uh, but then the success rate of everybody ordering it over and over and over again, our product is going to be efficient, is going to be efficient for the price. You know, we've, like I said, we've, we found, uh, sorry, I've had a phone call coming in. Um, we've, t we've tested, sorry, Zach, I'm getting, hang on, hang you're on, fine. Hang on. No, you're fine. So we've got the COAs on all of our, uh, products and we, we spent the time to make sure that, uh, that our products were, I don't want to say superior because I'm not here to demean anyone else's products by any means, but we made sure that they were held to a quality that we would expect when we went to go buy products for our own selves and our own loved ones. Cause I mean, you think about it and you think about the targeted demographic for some of like our products, like our, our pain salves or things like that nature. I mean, that's someone's grandmother, that's someone's mother, that's someone's father. You know, we're taking this into very, very, you know, close consideration that, you know, our whole mission was to get people off opioids and onto plant-based medicine. So who are we to come out here and try and make a bunch of profit off of that when we're saying our mission is something that is, you know, so wholesome. So we've taken a very, very uh, close look at what competitive pricing is, as well as competitive uh, formulations. And we, I'm not, again, I'm not here to demean anyone else's product, but I will stand, you know, firm and support my, our product and say that I do believe we have the best quality CBD for the most competitive price on the market. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I was, I got a phone call and then a text right back. So it just messed, it just messed me up and I just got all tongue tied, but no, to piggyback off that, I totally agree. We do have the best product for the price. You know, I, I, before we even priced our product, you know, we sat down and I went on website after website after website of our biggest competitors. And I was trying to find out, you know, who had the best, who was the best price product out there. And I wanted to match that. So everywhere in, you know, Tennessee, everywhere in Mississippi that are selling products for a hundred dollars have the same milligram as us. We're able to sell it for almost half the cost. And a lot of people assume that because you're selling a product for a higher price, that it's a better quality. And that's just not always true. Not all CBDs made the same. And, uh, you know, it's, it's more or less like you just got to give us 1% of your trust and we'll earn the other 99% um, just based on product reviews and testimonies alone. Um, other than that, you know, I've submerged myself in the industry to make sure that I've met the extractors. I know the people by name, you know, I can walk in the front door and shake their hands of the people that are making my product, you know. So um, not only that, just being uh, knowledgeable and having the experience that I've had in the industry, I hope that people would trust that I would not try to steer them along the 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 off beaten trail and, you know, try to steer them down the right way. So other than that, having the accolades that I have, the experience that I have, what I do on a daily basis for my full-time job, like, like Zach said earlier, we're not, we're not doing this for, to put food on our table. This is not our main source of income, you know? So 
that's why we're able to provide a good quality product at that price so that other people can afford it. And sorry to get tongue tied earlier. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. It's all good. So yeah, as I mentioned, like what role has the internet played in getting your brand out there as well too? So what role has the internet played? Yeah. Well, the internet is still not our really good friend right now because <laughs> I mean, the internet's helped a lot with our orders online, but you know, us trying to run ads, you know, it's frustrating to see other companies run ads and us be able to run ads for a few days and get shut down. So it's uh, it's been a friend and a foe all at the same time, in my opinion. Um, you know, just getting being able to be seen, being able to be seen is one cool thing. So we've had a couple people out of Washington that came down to Vegas, visited their daughters and bought the product, took it back to Washington and spread it amongst her community already. And multiple people have bought it. So, you know, being able to be accessible anywhere in the United States has, has really, really helped us out. Um, people, you know, Las Vegas is the destination travel spot. So when you come here, you get five locations right now that you're able to buy our product in. When they go home from here, they'll take that product. They're able to take that product with them home. And when they get home, they're able to look that product up. They'll be able to find us online, crosscountrywellness.com, you know, Instagram at Cross Country Wellness or Facebook at Cross Country Wellness. And they'll be able to look us up. They'll be able to go online and then order our product and they'll ship directly to their doorstep. Very discreet, you know what I mean? And it'll be there, you know, within a week of them ordering it. So that's the beauty of our product. That's the beauty of the, what the internet's provided. And uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. And then if you had to take a look six months to a year um, down the line, where would you like to see yourself in cross-country wellness? Well, we've, man, I've, I've set a goal. I'm halfway to my goal already. And it's so, it's so crazy. You know what I mean? That's three months in and I'm halfway there. So I told myself I wanted to be in 10 stores this year. And I, I thought that was a realistic goal for myself being that I have a full-time, you know, nine to five job as well as doing sales, like full-time sales for two other companies, you know, I'm stretched. I'm, and then, you know, obviously I'm, I'm a family man. So wife, kids, stuff like that, you know, finding balance is really hard. So um, I told myself 10 stores by the end of the year. So, you know, if you're saying for the next six months to a year, I get, I, I really get excited because me and Zach within me and Zach had an idea in 2020, January 1st, 2020 was the idea. You know what I mean? And if you asked me a year ago, right now that I'd be in five stores, this company didn't even exist really. So like, I'm excited to just know the possibilities. The year is such a long time when you put, you know, a goal and a game plan down and you really try to execute it. So it's exciting. So, you know, maybe 15 or 20, you know, so the, the sky's the limit. It only takes one person to hear this interview. It only takes one buyer that's in charge of 20 or 30 stores to be able to be in that. So, you know what I mean? So it's like, the opportunities are actually really exciting and I'm just, I'm here for the, I'm here for the ride. Oh, gotcha. Is it just we're about to like you guys like take wholesale orders as well too, or just want to sell it directly to the stores? No, we, we want to sell to the masses. So I could, I could, I could, we can handle whatever, you know, we can handle wholesale. We could handle retail. You could buy it directly from us. If you want to be a wholesale supplier, you could buy it from us. You know, we, however you want to handle this we we can accommodate that so if you have 20 stores if you have one store yesterday i mean you know i've, I've filled small orders i filled big orders so um i take care of all type of clients because it's not about the quantity it's about the relationship and the awareness like I, i'm going to keep going back to that it's like i said we're gonna we're not worried about the money we're worried about you guys and the the world knowing about our product and knowing the benefits of just opiate free lifestyle, a plant-based medicine. And, you know, we want to get to the, the core problem of, I tell people the top three things I'm only going to recommend. See, I'm not, I'm not like a, a pusher of this, you know, but if you're going to come to me and you're going to tell me you have pain, anxiety or sleep, or, you know, anything like that, I'm going to tell you about my CBD products. I'm going to say, well, you need this, you know, and, uh, 
that's just how I feel. But yep. Yeah, which product too do you get most purchases for? Is it the oils, the tinctures, something else? Right, right now it, it's it's between two in my opinion. I, I feel that the capsules and the pain cream work uh, the best. Um, the capsules for the simple fact of it's direct dosing when people are taking the drops of oil when they squeeze it and they watch the milligrams come up and they have to squeeze it under their tongue. I don't ever feel that they get a correct dosage. You know, sometimes it might be 27 milligrams. Sometimes it might be 37 milligrams. Sometimes it might be 30 milligrams. You know, you so you never get a precise dosage. The capsules are all precisely dosed and, you know, you could take whatever you want whatever your therapeutic dose is you're going to know that better than i am so that's why i like the capsules the pain cream the pain cream works within say i would say 90 to 120 seconds you'll feel relief like i tell i tell anybody that like it's almost instant relief that you feel with this pain cream i'm i'm super 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 happy with uh how good it is it has a whole bunch of essential oils in it. So it opens up your pores and allows the CBD to penetrate the skin a lot better. And it has 500 milligrams of a full spectrum CBD. So it's, it's, it's strong. It's one of the strongest that, you know, I, I see a lot of people that, that post 5,000 and 3000 milligram, you know, I, I guarantee you that mine will compete with those all day long guaranteed, but the capsules and the pain cream are my two favorite and top selling products right now. Oh, awesome. So yeah, any other advice you give to somebody who's starting in the cannabis biz? Yeah, man, just if your passion's not going to take you there, then just jump out of it. You know what I mean? So um, I don't like the people that are in the cannabis space for the wrong reasons for the money aspect. Um, I want people to have a purpose and a passion to be in it. You know, they genuinely want to help, um, be persistent. Don't give up. Um, you gotta be patient and just carry through for the most part. Um, it's, it's going to take, it's going to take time and it's going to take effort. It's going to take struggles and, um, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to push through with, uh, with everything that you got going on. Know that everything's not going to go as planned, you know? have have seven backup plans kind of and you know get ready to roll with the punches because that's just how the cannabis industry goes um but like i said if you don't have passion then you're in the wrong industry oh i got you so th those are that definitely good words of advice as well if somebody wants to contact you as well what's that the best way they can get a hold of you too yeah anybody can uh Anybody could find us at Cross Country Wellness. If they want to email us, info at crosscountrywellness.com. Uh, they can go on my personal Instagram page, jb1rdnv. Um, it's, it just looks like jbirdnv, but the I is a one. Um, they can go to Cross Country Wellness on Facebook, Cross Country Wellness on Instagram. If anybody's watching this, they could use code CBD1 for 20% off all orders online at crosscountrywellness.com. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys very much. Yeah, awesome. It was great to have you on, and you're more than welcome for future interviews. We, uh, we, we appreciate that, man, for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Awesome. Yeah, so we're signing off here, but definitely tune in later. Thank you again, guys. Appreciate you. Have a great day.